In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up your ConvertKit WordPress plugin. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure you download the plugin. You can do that through wordpress.org slash plugins slash ConvertKit, or you can search ConvertKit in the search bar at the top of the wordpress.org site. You'll head to the download button and download the latest version, which will always be right here on this page. Once you have it downloaded, you'll go to your WordPress site and click on plugins. From there, you'll click add new and then upload plugin. So you'll add the plugin from the place where you saved it in the zip format and let it load. I already have it installed, so we'll head to the next step, which is going to settings. You'll see convert kit right there. Once you're here, you'll actually have a blank API key. So you'll want to go into your ConvertKit account and get your API key. You can do that by clicking over to your ConvertKit account, clicking on the account tab, and in the account settings at the top, you'll see your company name and then your API key. And this is individual to your account, so make sure that you grab it in its entirety. Once you have that, you'll head back into your WordPress site, enter your API key, and then you'll choose a default form. So you can have a default form set to none, which means that none of the pages on your site will show a form unless you specify it. So once the w WordPress plugin is installed, you'll see an option on every page and every post of your site to have a form at the bottom of that page or post. So your default form is going to be if you have a general opt-in form um, or any type of opt-in that you want on every page. We choose to have it set to none so that it doesn't appear on every page unless we specify for it to do so. Once you choose your default form, click Save Changes. Then when you're in your posts or your pages, we'll start with pages. Once you're in your page, you'll find the page that you want to have a opt-in form show up on. Now, the, you can use a opt-in form uh, or you can use a landing page. The beauty of the ConvertKit WordPress plugin is that you're able to use both your forms and your landing pages from ConvertKit on your WordPress pages. So in order to have a landing page show up, you'll create a new page. So if I had created a new page here and given it a title, and then I scroll down because I don't need any content, it's just going to be a landing page, scroll down below the content box there, below, um, my SEO box that I have installed, you'll see the convert kit form. So this might show up right below your content box, depending on other plugins that you have, it could show up in different orders, but take a, keep an eye out for this convert kit box. You'll see both form and landing page here as options. So you have default um, setting for form. For us, that means none, but you can also manually choose none. So there's not a form. This page is going to be a landing page. So on this page, it's for reach our podcast. We have a landing page for signing up for reach. And so we'll choose that landing page from our list. Once that that's done, we hit update and the page is good to go. Now let's say we're choosing a, an opt-in form for the bottom of a blog post. So we'll head to one of our most recent blog posts to show you an example. So we have the blog post loaded, all the images are ready to go. And the last thing we want to do is make sure that we have an opt-in at the bottom of our blog post. So again, we scroll down below the content and on this t particular page, you'll only see the option for form because you wouldn't put a landing page over top of a blog post. So the plugin is smart and it knows that you only want a form here. So it's going to give you all of your form options and you choose the one that is right for you and hit update. It's as simple as that to install and use the WordPress ConvertKit plugin. As always, let our team know if you have any questions, support at convertkit.com.